four, one, three, five, two, five. It's just that easy, right? It's just a guessing game. It's not like there's a thousand different possibilities. Okay, there's quite a few more possibilities with this one. I just want to go one day without nuking the planet. Is, is that too much to ask? What's up guys, welcome back to VICCP. That game where you can press a button, turn a dial, pick up a phone, and have it result in anything from the world becoming flat, to you accidentally opening up the bunker door, and having people shoot you in the head! You know, it's really difficult to predict what's gonna happen in this, but I know for a fact today we're gonna finish things. Okay, we've only got three more endings left, and it's gonna begin with us knocking over our coffee, and then immediately burning to death. I'm willing to bet some of you saw that coming. This is what happens when you use the world's most dangerous light bright as a coaster. Or we should have known better. Like, it's safe to assume that I like boiling hot coffee and I don't like boiling hot skin. So we'll go ahead, we'll drink it, and then we'll get to the phone, which is still broken. Right, I forgot that maintenance has been slacking around here, but that's fine because we've been fixing it this entire time. We know that line two connects us to the modem, line three connects us to security, line four was a fake button, so I'm thinking we need to try line one, and then hopefully that should open up some new possibilities for us. Right, yeah, now we're on the personnel line, so I can turn you on, and hopefully that means I can now use the phone and the technical reference manual to perform the administrator password reset procedure. <laughs> like, we never to figure out what this is. We've been seeing it since the very beginning, but I read that and my eyes go crossed and then I laugh and I'm distracted by the fact that they want me to T-pose and Slav squat every one to two minutes. <laughs> but we should be able to call 9629 for something, I guess. Uh, have a ringtone now? We do, good, okay, nine. Six, two, God, these rotary phones are brutal. Nine. Ooh, please enter three numbers. Um, I didn't get three numbers, did I? Uh, yeah, I, I got a zero. Is that good enough? Oh, I got one and two, right? Zero, one, two. Is that what you guys have been trying to tell me through interpretive dance this entire time? Okay, we'll try that then. Zero. One. Two. You're a strange little robot parrot, aren't you? Okay. Did he just hang up on me? Was it the parrot comment? <laughs> All right then. I'm just gonna assume he's gonna call back, right? We've got, oh. Hey! Here we go! Six. Three. Two. Five. Are you a sentient rotary phone? Oh crap, oh he hung up again. Uh, I feel like I should write that down. This game has a whole new level of difficulty to it when you've got the short term memory of a goldfish like I do. But six, three, two, five, we got it. I think I know where to put that, but I was gonna say, we've got a couple of files that we haven't used yet so far. We've got this. No idea what that is or what it means. I'm clearly not gonna be able to memorize it, so whatever. We also have this, which just looks like a weird way of counting to 10. Those are the only two files that we haven't used in here, but we can go to system setup and now hopefully use this new password that we got. Uh, six, three, two, five. No? Um, okay, what if we try access control? There's probably different passwords, you know, it's a very secure procedure, so on and so forth, maybe? Did he give me the wrong numbers? Listen, Chief, I'm trying the numbers you just gave me and they're not getting me anywhere. I'm getting access denied all over the place and I'm thinking we might need to try something else. How about I just give you a bunch of zeros? Zero? 
Zero. Zero. Idiot says zero. zero. I think he's a robot. Wait. Okay. We hung up again. Hopefully he calls back again. I don't know, man. This shouldn't be quite this difficult. <laughs> it's just a password, right? Hopefully... Oh, here we go. What do you got for me? Okay, uh, I'm ready. 6464, six, four. I can remember that. Yeah, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, let's see here. So, 6464? Okay, that worked. We got somewhere. <laughs> System diagnostics in progress. One zero one zero one two zero one zero one three zero one zero one. Attention, a bug was detected in the system. Of course there was, because this place is falling apart. <laughs> Wait, what did that other screen say? Was that important? Oh, come on. Um. Oh yeah, look, I found the bug. It's a helicopter screwdriver. I got it. I, I, I got it. I don't really want to play Battleship right now, though. What the? Oh. Okay. Weird. Oh, this is that thing that we just saw. Way more complicated. What am I trying to accomplish here? I think I see now. Okay, it, it's a little convoluted and confusing, but as far as I can tell, we want to make it so that no lines are crossing one another. I, I'm guessing that has to do with firing lines of the ships and submarines and planes. Like, it, it's the only difference I could see between what we have and what we saw on the screen. I, I really don't think it matters what exactly I'm moving, whether it be a plane or a ship or a sub. And I'm also not sure where we're going. Is this America invading China? Or Europe invading America? It's a war, I just assume America's part of it. <laughs> that doesn't exactly look like a Canadian army up there. I feel like I've been si Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. I was about to say, I feel like I've been sitting here guessing for the better part of at least 15 minutes. It, it's like, if you want to be a military general, do you need to be really good at untangling shoelaces and headphones and... Did I just declare war? I just kind of pulled this because... Whoops. Yeah, that's, uh... That's my bad. I, I was just playing Cat's Cradle with my little robot friend and... <laughs> I pulled a hell in a Troy. Ooh. Yeah, that's a lot of war. Um, Where did that helicopter screwdriver go? <laughs> you think I might be able to blame him? You can't get charged for a war crime just for fiddling around on a computer at work, right? Hopefully that's the case. Uh, I think that's the precedent that's been set. I mean, worst case scenario, I'm guilty and they can't possibly track me. This is the world's oldest, dumbest computer, so I really doubt it has an IP address. I never even plugged in the modem. I may have called one, though. Then again, he could have been a toaster as well. You know what? I I'm going to call him back because I think there's more for us in system setup. Yeah, we did diagnostics last time, but... We might be able to access control and go down another path, so we're gonna need another administrator password. Let's see here, what do we got? 9638. Hopefully he'll be a little bit more talkative this time. It's kind of lonely here. <laughs> My co-workers are not all that polite. Let's see here. Busy? I didn't think he'd be popular. He's not the only one who can play hard to get, okay? I'm not waiting by the phone for his call. I'm a strong, independent computer worker. I don't know what the hell my job is. Uh, hello? Grace, what do you got for me? 3810. Okay, yeah, 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 shut up. We're not friends anymore. 3810. 
weird. Okay, um... I don't know what any of this means. Computer? Oh! Did I break it? I may have broken it. What did I do wrong here? Uh, computer, are you doing okay? Oh. Hi! Oh, you're scanning me! I thought you were gonna shoot me in the forehead. I was like, why do you need a laser pointer from point blank, you stupid robot? Hello, Hal. <laughs> That's a very nice button you got there. Oh, thank you. Oh, I really appreciate all the buttons that you're giving me. I don't read this little language you got going here. What is this? Looks like Mandarin. Cantonese, maybe? Holy shit, what is this? You have got to be kidding me. This is a puzzle? How am I supposed to solve a puzzle when it's not even a photo? <laughs> like, I'm assuming, there we go, okay, so, it does kind of make sense, but not really. So we have two entry points, and we have a bunch of points down here, which I'm guessing all of these match up with. Oh my god, this is gonna take a million years! <laughs> I don't have the patience for this! Can I call my robot friend and have him help me out? This seems like something he would be really good at. I really, really wish I could talk and think at the same time, but I just can't. <laughs> Every time I tried to say something, I lost what I was doing in the puzzle. This took me 45 minutes. I finally got all of this circuitry untangled and it unlocked three half nuke symbols. And now we have a whole bunch of buttons. No. No, 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 I need to do it again. No! How is this fun for people? I'm not gonna panic, okay? Everything is fine. I'm gonna try a strategy that I didn't use the first time. First time around, anytime I got something into the right place, I tried to kind of loosely keep it there, and I think it ended up restricting me. This time around, we're gonna go one piece at a time, systematically, and just Force them into place, right? So we'll start up here. This one is good. This one is good. This one is good. This is wrong. This shouldn't be here. So we need something with a fat line and a skinny line that doesn't run off the edge. Like you. So we should be able to do something like that. Now you're good. So now we just need something with a skinny line that connects those. Is that right? I think that's good, we have a light. It didn't give me a half nuke symbol, but I am fine with this. <laughs> so now, all the way back over here, what needs to be right here? Something with a rightmost connector. Oh, it could be a lot of these. I think it's this one. So we just do something like this and force you into place and say screw everything else. There we go. Okay, you see how it works? Not all that entertaining, but I'm getting through it. I'll just keep working through my torture in silence. Be back in a minute. I think I might actually have it. Oh my god, thank you. That one didn't take nearly as long, but it still took a long freaking time. Possibly because I was nuking the world. Oh, that's why it was so difficult. Yeah, that's probably for the best. I mean, I wouldn't really want nuking the planet to just be a button or a turn of a key. It should take like an hour and a half you pulling your hair out and having literally no fun. <laughs> oh my god. I, I honestly considered ending the episode, I'm not gonna lie. That whole war crimes theory that I had earlier is still holding up, right? Ten endings down, one more to go. And, and hopefully this last one is a little bit easier on both the planet and my mental health. Would really appreciate a nice easy win right about now, and I know exactly where to start, because we've seen these quite a bit. 
we realized that these dials are actually paths for electricity, and we did the positive path, but I didn't realize that there's also a negative path here, right? So now we can have the electricity flow to a completely different option, and hopefully that will give us uh, buttons or dials, or robot friend, a handful of aspirin. I take really anything right about now, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Gotta be something good, right? Go ahead and give us buttons. A bunch of dirty buttons. I have no sweet clue what order I'm supposed to hit these buttons in. Four has a little magic behind it. I'm not seeing any codes in the computer. I just decided to bring up the light bright photo of Nikola Tesla because why the hell not? Well, we've got four. Four is doing something. Nothing else wants to, wait, wait, wait. Four, one. Oh, four, one, two, no, four, one, three. Three, four, one, three, five, two, five. It's just that easy, right? It's just a guessing game. It's not like there's a thousand different possibilities. Okay, there's quite a few more possibilities with this one. I just want to go one day without nuking the planet. Is, is that too much to ask? Is it? Count it's counting down. Okay. Um we've seen these in the computer before, right? So it's it's like one, one, uh, two, three. No. No, that was one, two, three, four, good, five, good. Uh, six? No? Okay, so the specific count I need to do. Four. That doesn't sound good. Six, seven, uh, eight, nine. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where is the nine? Shut up, you! Nine? That's the nine. Okay. Which ten? Uh... Uh... You! No! No, no, no! Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh... That's the nine. Okay, we've got all the other numbers down. We just we just need to figure out the ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that not good enough for you? I don't know what 11 looks like. 10, oh no, what is happening? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One. Am I just getting screwed here because it feels like it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, no, one, two, three, four. Uh, I'm losing. I lost it. Five, six, seven. Did I die? I counted to ten for you. What more do you want for me to? Uh, 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 do I want to stop the planet from dying or do I want to nuke it? I don't really know. You guys are not going to believe this, but they expect me to count to ten three different ways, three specific hidden different ways. I have attempted this many times, but I think I finally have it. Last count should be five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's like, yeah, hit 30 buttons in a very specific sequence. We're not going to tell you what it is. Just trial and error. By the way, there's a nuke in your face. You got like 15 seconds. <laughs> Did I stare directly into the nuke? Because I think I missed it. But you know what? I think that's going to be it for VICCP, guys. We got all the endings, but I will say that this episode was quite possibly one of the most frustrating videos I have ever made. But even then, I really hope more people adopt this style of game. I loved Please Don't Touch Anything. This was not as good, but I had a lot of fun with it, and I want to see more games like this, so I'm still going to encourage it. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.